Yo, I hope you guys will be enjoying the background, which is a sped up version of me doing the round 90 plus with the new chipper. Sadly, we have come to our acknowledges or senses that the chipper is somehow bugged. Not because of, you cannot hit them, because you can actually hit them. <clears throat> but the issue is with the shipper, you cannot use any stores when the CMG are getting sucked. For example, if you want to use a ninja, sniper, or a uh, ice store, maybe even mortar store, maybe, <clears throat> I have no idea. However, if you use those four, those stores do not work. For example, ninja and ice, as you might know, is like... If it's on field or before field, there's a certain time where you can press it and then it goes slow like 45% to 40%. Um, no, it does not get slow whatsoever. So, uh, me and Kony are already trying to talk with Shadow Josh about this. Kony probably is already doing it. I tried, but no response. So hopefully when Kony is doing it, that the, uh, what's it called, the bug will be gone soon. But let's talk about the patch notes. Version 6.20, new features, new map, the Rift. That's a pretty good map, actually. Uh, balance changes is now pretty decent. Tech shooters do shoot a little bit faster, which is 7% more faster than the previous one, which is doubled as fast as the... Uh, What's the name? The uh, previous one, which is 122 now. Glaive shooter got, or glaive thrower got um, less expensive and pretty decent actually. Motor tower, which is I'm more excited about, is the ability where it does more damage against more plus boon. Amazing. It's not 400, it's 40. Would be a little bit overkill, but it will also be amazing. Spell Factory is also one of my favorite that I would talk about, which is the price buff into 500. The biggest X got into 500. The even faster production got into 750. The spike post got into 2400, which is a nerf. The spikes are going to nerf into $200 more, which is $6,700. Monkey Village, nobody uses the MIB really for any types of damage. An MIB call to arms gotten a little bit more expensive, which is fair, I guess, since the MRB costs a thousand less than it used to be, from 3000 to 2000, and therefore they made it so that it may be a little bit harder to get it, which is 22,000 for the code to arms. Gloom Tripper, they forgot to put in the bug where you cannot store them, that's fine. 3x changed from triple layer blades to super wide funnel. To 4.6k instead of 700 because it was triple layered before. Can now suck in mobs. BFB stores the same damage as the old 3x. Stores more class balloons by 25% of distance they would have traveled with not sucked in, which is correct. This still works as it's intended, except of course for the other stores. When it's sucked, uh, when it's sucked in, it does not work. And if it probably sucked in also, it doesn't work anymore, which is also pretty stupid. More class plume now can be hit by other towers while being shredded. That is correct. I've been seeing that in my um, practice run a lot, and it's pretty decent. Now the 4x, which is the new one, this is the uh, Omni Shredder, which is a cringe name, but it's better than nothing, I guess. And the 47k to 6k is pretty decent, I would say, and can also suck now in CMGs. Pretty, pretty decent. Power is the asset has uh, increased PS by 5, which is now 35. In Eco Boost has been nerfed by all of them, sadly by one times. Meaning, the new more Eco Boost that you always get at the TO0 is instead of 5 times, now 4 times. Improved Eco Boost is now 6 times to 5 times. That's what I meant to say, 5 times to 6 times. But in reverse. Super boost is from 7 times to 6 times Rico number, which is not really good. So we need to check if we can play more into farms, which is why the farm farm powers did not get any nerfs or buffs, because nobody really uses them. And then Kobiko, finally, it could be better if they actually put it down to 500, but 550 is better than nothing. 
Eagle Choke, which I understand because everybody uses Eagle Choke after my video, after the Swiss video, after the 6x video. We all use this Eagle Choke nowadays, and the, ease, uh, the uses now is instead of 4 to 3. Duration is from 4 seconds to 5.5 seconds now. And cooldown is 20 seconds now instead of 30 seconds, which is pretty decent. So you can use 3 Eagle Chokes in a round slash a minute. Pretty, pretty decent. And the tower blindness reduces, which is going to be really, really OP. Tower blindness reduces opponents' towers attacking range by from 55% to 60%. So if you think that was a pretty uh, a short range, it's going to be shorter now, which is going to be insane. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy it and have fun with the background, aka okay, the 90 rounds. Run with the eyes, sniper super and chipper because I wanted to see how far it goes. But with the bug currently, it doesn't work. So I'll probably title this like with the bug chipper. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys as usual in the next video. Peace out. Love you guys and enjoy this better version. up there.